What did a crush do that made you immediately lose interest? Bragged about how she was leading on a few guys so she always had a backup. Fat yikes. He would ask me questions about myself, then cut me off in the middle of my answer to talk about himself. If you could have any superpower what would it be? I I think I'd like telekinesis because. I have a friend like that, and my cousin does this often too. It's like they bring it up so they can talk about it, but don't realize that you can just say what you want to say instead of bait and switching with who gets to talk. I love them both dearly, but fuck it's so annoying. I was casually dating a 19 year old guy when I was 18. He seemed totally normal until I met him at his house before a date and his mom asked him to take the garbage out before we left. He threw a fit that would embarrass most 3 year olds including crying, yelling at his mom, and punching the floor. I pretended that my parents were calling and needed me to come home, blocked his number, and never saw him again. I like to think that mom knew he'd do that and was trying to save you the trouble. Back in college I was seeing a girl casually. Whenever we text, she'd take hours to respond to any message. It wasn't a big deal, since most of the time it was just chatting or setting plans for the following weekend or something. It was a little annoying because it'd take a full day or two to set up plans because of the slow responses, but whatever. I'm a bad texter so I can't really judge someone for that. But I started to notice that when we hung out together, she'd immediately respond back to any and every text she got. She had some loud song as the ringtone that played for like 15 seconds, and set it so that her camera LED would flash constantly while it rang. Totally obnoxious and made me really notice how often she texted. I casually asked her who she was texting one time and it was just some friend from school that had sent her a meme. After that I realized it wasn't going to work. Being a slow texter is fine. Constantly texting while hanging out was annoying, but not a deal breaker especially if we were just chilling at one of our houses. But the realization that this person who was glued to her phone but didn't feel like it was a priority to respond back to my texts made me feel unimportant so I kinda just drifted away. We stayed friends because we shared the same group of friends and it wasn't awkward or anything. I just stopped trying to do things with just the two of us. Met a woman, thought she seemed cool. We went out to eat, she's telling me about how she fell on financial hard times and moved back in with her parents. The way she described it, just sounded like she got unlucky, not that she did anything irresponsible. It happens. When the bill came I told her I'd pay. She said, thanks, I appreciate that, I'm trying to save my money right now. Me sure, I understand, you want to get your own place again. Her no, actually I mean I'm trying to save up 500 for a tattoo I want to get. I've got nothing against spending money on tattoos, but when you've just spent a first date talking about the financial troubles you have, maybe now's the time to start putting money away for necessities, not tattoos. He let it slip that he was cheating on his so and getting together with me. Killed that crushy feeling dead. Damn happened to me once but didn't let it slip, she outright told me so she had an excuse to split up with her boyfriend. Poured lemonade on my head in the middle of a fireworks show, she thought it was flirty and cute. Should have poured it on her and asked her if she thought it was cute. Said she would turn up on a date, then flaked. Told me she had been called in to work urgently. I said okay that's cool. Second time she flaked again said that she had to tutor someone. Which made no sense because would you not have that planned? Went on a date with them and they didn't ask me anything about myself. It was completely one-sided like a job interview or something. Im a guy, by the way. I ran into an old crush a few years back who told me he was into dog baiting. The candle had blown out a long time ago as far as my crush was concerned but that pretty much killed any intention I had of trying to restart our friendship. She told me her future plans to essentially become a gold digger like her mother. When I laughed it off she couldn't see what I thought was so funny. We were driving down the road and she threw a Starbucks cup right out the window. Gross. Litterers should be turned into goddamn trees. We were eating dinner out and he was rude to the server. Told him we were pretty close friends it would be nice to add a please or thank you he said why should I, she's a waitress implying he feels superior and I pay her to do her job. Instant turn off and didn't really want to hang out with him even as friends after the incident. She told me that spanking her teenage daughter didn't work, because it wasn't satisfying enough. A bit of context. This was long ago, and far away, in a European country. The mother was a statuesque blonde divorcee, and the daughter was about 14, and headed for trouble. 
Corporal punishment was de rigueur at the time, both here and in Europe. I decided that the situation was hopeless, and noped out of there ASAP. The daughter hated her mother big surprise and went on to get pregnant and force her mother to raise the child. I came back to the States and still consider myself lucky to have dodged that bullet. He wouldn't talk to me in person for some reason. Crush comes to my house. I explain how I'm slowly remodeling it and my plans for my house. She then starts telling me I shouldn't and I should do it her way, and let her take it over and let her design, decorate, and do it all. The hell I will. I went on two dates with a girl when I was in college. She was wonderful but immediately wanted to be official and started drafting Instagram posts about us. She wanted to spend every day together and have sleepovers every night. It was so out of nowhere and we literally knew nothing about one another. I tried to look past it but she asked me to be her first and I got uncomfortable. She seemed naive and I didn't want to take advantage. I suggested we take things slow and she took offense. I cut things off and her reaction was super childish. All of this in a three week period. Sweet girl but the pacing was off. He talked about how he wanted to loosen up some boring family at a wedding reception, so he spiked their drinks with party drugs. Did you go on a date with Bill Ponderosa? Ask me to be their wingman because they had a crush on my best friend. Oof, same thing happened to me, then when I moved on he started being sexually inappropriate and bullied me only when my best friend and my boyfriend weren't around, to this day I'd cry I was ever attracted to someone like that. A woman I was talking to was recently divorced and had moved back in with her parents. She already had a child and a couple pets and was talking about getting another pet and her parents told her no, she chose to go ahead and get another pet anyhow and basically her parents began pushing her out the door. And it was a stressful situation for her and I suggested she talk to her folks. However once she told me she was grown and made her own decisions and did not care about their rules I suddenly understood and quickly lost interest. He started dating one of my friends after I told her that I had a crush on him. She tried hooking up with every guy she knew I had a crush on. I felt like I couldn't like anyone. Edit this was back in 2012, we're not on bad terms but I rarely speak to her now. Gave me a 5 minute lecture on conditions where cheating is okay. We would be great in person, both of us would have a laugh and genuinely had an amazing connection, but trying to get a text back takes days. It's really difficult to arrange to spend more time together when she barely replies to me. I massively lost interest after this. Kicked a dog. Instantly lost all attraction. John Wick wants to know your location. Coworker at work had just a beautiful energy, absolutely lovely to be around, always smiling at everyone, and she would laugh at my jokes, and she made some comments from time to time that made me feel validated and understood which was very very flattering like she guessed my passions in life and told them to me, with a big smile while looking me in the eyes, and I'm a reserved guy who doesn't share that stuff. All just very lovely. One day we're in the break room and she's talking to another guy the same way and I'm consciously talking myself out of being jealous you're not dating or anything you don't even have her cell phone number she's allowed to be lovely with other people now come on no reason to be jealous. Then when the guy leaves she turns to the girl next to her and says god I hate that guy. And I had just been jealous that she was treating him exactly like she treats me. I still feel foolish when I think about it, like does she like me or hate me? She generalized everyone. She was also such a bitch to everyone that she didn't understand. He plays video games? Wow well, when do you think he'll move out of his mother's basement? Wow she wears so much makeup can you imagine what she's hiding under that face? Just such a mean spirited person and it completely turned me off. He would steal people's tips off the bar counter when we were at a bar together with friends. Then he would offer to buy me food with it. No thank you. I had a crush on a guy in high school who was a little bit of a rebel. Nothing serious but definitely had a bad boy thing going on. One day in class the teacher told him to do something minor and he flipped out, basically had a temper tantrum and refused. Totally killed all interest by being an asshole for no reason. He snapped his fingers at a waitress. Then as I looked mortified, he whistled. People do anything other than look around nervously and hope the waiter comes around eventually. <laughs>